At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received. Oshio, please excuse me if I jiggle the camera around a little bit, trying to bounce around uh, with my one hand and uh, flipping through the scriptures here uh but anyway uh yeah i got my new teeth but i'm not wearing them because they need to be fixed <laughs> i got my new teeth but i'm not wearing them because they need to be fixed <laughs> yeah yeah but that's the such a thing anyway i wanted to uh share with you something uh, that you know i saw uh, someone who did a video saying the ten commandments are obsolete now, I'm not trying to um, pick on this person, all right? I think the person misunderstood the scriptures. Uh, which, there's times, there's that at one point or time or another, that we have been the same on certain things. And then we came to understand it. But anyway, um, what I want to do is uh, give you first the passages, and you can look them up yourself, and I urge you to uh, have a good concordance. You know, if you got a Bible with a good concordance, that helps. But, uh, you know, like um, on the law and uh, ordinances, you know, See, the thing is, uh, it's easy for people to misunderstand things. So, what I wanted to do was sh share something with you. Now, but for sake of time, I'm not going to go through everything here. So, understand that, alright? Um, but what I wanted to do, and, and I'm just touching briefly on this, okay? Uh, I'm not covering the whole, and there's some of you out there that can do a better job than I can, because I'm not a great orator, all right? And uh, you've heard me say that before, and you'll hear me say it again and again. But uh, what I wanted to do was point this out to you, some few things, and but, you know, you need to really pray and ask God to, to open your eyes, you know, your spiritual eyes, your, your, in your heart, you know, uh... If someone says the the law that that is the Ten Commandments, because this person said the Ten Commandments are obsolete, well, there lies there's some problems with that. But I I will show you, all right, and uh, or I'll, or I'll never get this done, all right. And let's start out in Romans, all right. Uh, let's start out at uh, Romans. Uh, chapter uh, 7 and we'll go from uh, chapter 7 verse 7 to 12 okay and then read uh, Exodus uh, 20 uh, verses 1 through 17 and let's see Colossians to where was that? Uh, to uh, verse fourteen. And excuse me, I'm trying to. <laughs> all right. So anyway, if I don't get to finish all this reading, read it for yourself. In fact, pause it and go read it for yourself. All right. But anyway, it goes. Uh, verse uh, 7 of chapter 7 of Romans what shall we say then is the law sin God forbid nay I had not known sin but by the law for I had not known lust except the law had said thou shalt not covet but sin taken occasion by the commandment, rotten me, or worked in me, all manner of 
con I can't pronounce this word, concupiscence, uh, meaning desire, or lust, uh, lustful desire thing there. Uh, for without the law, sin was dead. For I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. And the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. For sin taken occasion by the commandment, or we could say using the commandment, sin, uh, taken occasion by the commandment deceived me and by it slew me wherefore the law is holy not unholy holy and the commandment holy and just and good alright let's go over to Colossians uh, chapter 2 verse 14 uh, let's go to 13 and then 14 alright and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh or, or maybe I'm reading it and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh hath he quickened made alive together with him having forgiven you all trespasses blotting out the handwriting of of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nailing it to his cross and you can go on and read the rest of that but uh, uh, excuse me here but the, the point I was uh, getting to uh, is uh, and if it sounds like I'm being sarcastic please forgive me alright because the, the, I'm, I'm trying to drive a little point. All right, like I said, I could say a lot more on it, but I'm not a great orator and stuff. And I just wanted to just to try to point out the reason why uh, the Ten Commandments are not obsolete. Now, there's a lot more that can be said on it, and some of you can uh, do this better than I can. But, or you can add to it, or, or whatever you want to say, and if I, uh, brothers and sisters, if I am, you know, uh, talking here, if I accidentally get something a little backwards or something, feel free to correct. Uh, okay, uh, oh, that's the wrong one. It's going to take me forever here. Time is getting away. Uh, see, we said Exodus 20. I had it marked. And now, I am lose, losing my spot. Because so I wanted to uh, read it. Okay. Now, see, people don't understand about the ordinances and, and you know, the, the commandments, you know, and, or, you know, or someone could say, well, the commandments is the ordinance. Uh, anyway, what I wanted to touch you on you right now on this video is why the uh, Ten Commandments are not obsolete. All right, because elsewhere in the New Testament, it does state that, uh, you know, it is, the law is for the ungodly. You know, those who, who, who do wickedly and evil and do bad things and stuff, you know. Uh, but anyway, like I said, if you got a good concordance, or if some of you brothers and sisters would uh, help out and even throw up in your comments, or do a video response with... Uh, uh, scripture that that would help too because I want to point out to this person and others who think that the Ten Commandments is obsolete they're, they're, you know I want to point out the error and it's not intended to you know to uh, humiliate or to uh, to hurt anyone you know to hurt their feelings though sometimes we often get our feelings hurt when something is true but I'm not trying to do it on purpose Already time to get me. All right, let's see what we can get here. All right, let's start at verse one and work our way down. 
And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Okay, let's stop right there for just a second. Well, now if it's obsolete, hey, guess what? Hey, you can have some other gods. Huh? Oh yeah. You can worship God, the living God, and have all your idols and everything too, and still be saved. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, now. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless to take his name in vain. Oh, guess what? It's okay if you take his name in vain. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. You're saved. That commandment is obsolete. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but in the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath and hallowed it. Now, we could go into about the, the Sabbath and everything, but I understand uh, you can read a little bit about uh, in Acts, you know, and it talks uh, about the letter from the uh, church uh, that the, was sent out with Paul and Silas and the others uh, to the Gentile believers who were being troubled by those who were saying you had to keep the law of Moses in order to be saved and everything. Well, they told them the, 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 just a few little things that they needed to do. And there was nothing, you know, saying, you know, about uh, the seventh day, uh, a Saturday had to be the day. And there's other scripture, um, but anyway. But the point is, what is a Sabbath day? A day of rest. Now, this was important, and then that day was set aside. And, and uh, there's Gentiles, then there's Jews. Or should I should say Jews, then Gentiles. Jew first, Gentiles, you know, then... All right, but anyway, I'm getting off. Uh, the point is of why, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the Ten Commandments is not obsolete. Uh, you know, and anything you, you can add, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, feel free to help out, uh, okay. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm out and get, you know, I'm not a great orator and everything, and, and, and I'm trying to save on time. I don't want to go on for no 20, 30 minutes or more. Um, all right, next commandment. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. <laughs> Go ahead, dishonor them. Tell them what you think in so many ways. Treat them like dirt. It's okay. You're saved because that commandment is obsolete. Is it getting hot in here? All right. Next, you know, thou shalt not kill. Oh, it's all right. You see, you want to kill somebody. If you don't like them, go ahead. You're, you're saved. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, why not just go around and, and just start killing somebody because maybe they you think you're the worst sinner or something. Just go ahead and kill them. Hey, that, that, that command... Don't apply because it's obsolete. Right. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Go ahead, guys. Ladies, go ahead. Get all the uh, preachers and all you guys and girls out there. Go out there and get you all the extra men and women and all that. Because you know why? You're saved. That commandment 
doesn't apply to you because <gasps> it's obsolete all right thou should not steal hey you want something grab it it's okay it doesn't apply you're saved and then uh, thou shalt not bear follow false witness against a neighbor if you don't like them you want them gone go ahead lie on them you got some thing you want to hide and I want to cover up and, and get someone else in trouble. Go ahead, lie. Why? Because that command is obsolete. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Well, like I said, I'm not going to go into everything here, but now... Those are obsolete. Hmm. I'm. I'm. So, I apologize if it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, and you know anything. It's not. To, it's not intended for humor. As in, oh, just get some laughs, and it's not funny. It's not funny at all. It's serious. Because uh, if you sit there and tell people, you know, because you know, you want to introduce them to freedom. And then tell them that the Ten Commandments are obsolete. You know, you, you have to be careful. You need to reword that. If you're meaning something else, then you need to reword it. Otherwise. But the things that are obsolete are like, when you're reading in the laws there, uh, about like sacrificing, uh, going out and stoning people and stuff. That's obsolete. Christ was the fulfillment of the law. But is the law, is, is the law, was the law evil? No, it points out our sins. Because without the law, there is no transgression according to the Bible. So, you you got to understand that, you know, there's times we can read things and miss it. You know, there's, Still, a lot of things uh, in the Bible that I don't fully know. But the only thing I can speak of what I, I do know, uh, and there's some things I, I kind of know and I don't know. I'm being honest here. Uh, but the thing is, there's people, though, who get the idea that they understand everything there is about the law, and then all of a sudden they're professionals. Some are young people, ain't even been in it very long. All they know is what someone else told them. They don't bother to look it up and study it for themselves, or can't even acknowledge that they don't understand it and shouldn't be talking about what they don't understand. But here I am, time is getting away. Look, 17 minutes or so done past, you know. Uh, but the point is, what I'm trying to say is, the the law points out that, or should I say, the Ten Commandments. Uh, there's other things, like I said, we can talk more about this and, and, and mention other things. But what I'm pointing out is about why the, how is it that the the the, the Ten Commandments is not obsolete? Is the fact that these things point out sin. How would you know what sin is? Well, I mean, you look at the law. That is uh, Ten Commandments. Uh, this is, uh, think of it as um, the main heading subjects uh, of the law, so to speak. But there's something that Jesus said, said that there was two things that if you follow these uh, two things, if you obey that, you obey all of the law, okay? And what is it, you know, and what is it? And he said, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul. Uh, I might get it out of the order, but it's the same thing. Uh, mind, strength, and, you know, and, and soul. Uh, in other words, with your whole being. And to uh, the love your neighbor as yourself, all right? So, the thing is, he said that these two things, he says, you know, the, all the law hangs on that. It, it, it hinges on that. Those two things. See, if you, if you love your neighbor, you're not going to do coveting or murdering them or, or stealing from them or, or, you know, 
right yeah. on and on and you're going to love God with all your heart with your whole being uh, the, the thing is see you cannot sit there and say you know I, I read you some passages but I encourage you to look it up or other brothers and sisters who has time and who can you know and who's a better orator than me who can sit there and point out these things about why the Ten Commandments are not obsolete and can explain about what is obsolete in the law and, and things like and about the ordinances and such and everything but I wanted just to share that with you it wasn't much uh, sound like I did a lot of rambling uh, but the thing is is what I wanted to do was point out the law the Ten Commandments all right is good and I, uh, because I, I, I wanted to approach the subject because this person who did a video said that the Ten Commandments are obsolete. And they're not. Think about it. So, alright, and oh, I hope that you're, you had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you're, you, you know, you, you had a great visit with your family and and your friends and uh, you know and I, I you know I hope that you uh, stop to reflect that Thanksgiving is not a one-day event out of the year this is 24 7 to always be thankful to count your blessings for what God has done for you he's done a lot for me I know he's done a lot for you but uh, anyway I hope that some of you out there, uh, when it comes, or a lot of you, should I say, excuse me, uh, but a lot of you, when it comes to this coming up holiday, that you will, you know, because see, a lot of people say this, the Jesus is the reason for the season, but that's not the way they live. But if you're going to uh, do uh, the holiday in the sense of what Christians have come to say is supposed to be for the Jesus the reason for the season that you treat it that way not with all the other rigmarole but remember it's not about going out and getting, giving gifts and throwing up decorations and making fuss and making fools of ourselves <laughs> about loving one another as Jesus did to remember not just his birth but that he was born and he died for us he and all the things he taught us these are the things we need to remember and and that should be followed by our lives not one day out of the year and some people don't understand they think that only applies one day out of the year so anyway uh, God bless you. Shalom and ha ho. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received.